Boom shakalaka. What's up figure maniacs? Thank you for stopping by again today on my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys on how you can customize your jack specific giant size Godzilla. Okay, now before we get into it, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story on how this came about. Okay, so from the time that I purchased this figure, um, I wasn't totally happy with uh, how short the dorsal fins were. I mean, it's a great looking figure, but the dorsal fins uh, are a little bit lacking as you can see. Okay, so I thought of ways on how I could uh, customize it, and one idea that was suggested was suggested to me was using drywall. But um, as I try to use drywall and applying it to the dorsal fins, um, it wasn't, it didn't feel right. Something didn't click right. Let me show you the pictures up on screen right now. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it just wasn't looking right. I mean, after the drywall would dry, uh, it, would, it would easily break just by moving it a little bit. Okay, so I abandoned that idea. But uh, shortly after that, I saw on Facebook, on one of the Godzilla groups, a gentleman by the name of Tony Alari, or Alari, I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your last name. He uh, showed pictures of his customized giant size Godzilla and it looked great. So I reached out to him and I asked him how he did that and he was kind enough to share his idea with me. So I decided to take his method and apply it to my figure and then show you guys how you guys can customize your own figures. So thank you very much Tony for that, okay? Now to, before we get into the video, uh, let me explain to you what you guys need or at least what I use to customize my figure. Okay, so. Um, you need um, a styrofoam piece, okay, like this styrofoam piece like this, okay? Now, what I did is um, I put the styrofoam, okay, so this is pre pretty much the stencil that uh, I used, all right? And I used my SH Monster Arts uh, Godzilla figure, and I pretty much eyeballed the design, and I used a marker to draw out the, uh, the design of the dorsal fins, okay? Then after that, I used an X-Acto knife to cut out the pieces. Now, I ended up using uh, two pieces on either side because I was, my idea was to super glue uh, both styrofoam pieces on both sides, okay? So I, um, I first did the center row and then I I did. Uh, I customized these two pieces right over here on both sides. Okay, so let me uh, show you the video on uh, how I did that. Okay, here I'm beginning to put on the extended dorsal fins on my giant size Godzilla. Okay, so I've already glued this piece on using the styrofoam, so I'm going to glue the next part on just like that. Now, what I've done with my fingers, I've just uh, pressed this you know just to flatten it out a little bit more okay so just using just put applying pressure on it just to flatten it out and then once I uh, apply the glue okay and um, and then it should look like this and then after it's dry, now I'm going to do uh, the doors, uh, you know, all the other ones, okay? And then um, after I do all that, I'm going to do these uh, inner, these outer ones as well, these outer ones over here, okay? And then I will use hot glue uh, to apply it over, and that way um, then it, it should be more solidified. I have finally finished uh, putting on the styrofoam dorsal fins. 
on the back. Okay, now my next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to apply the hot glue on each dorsal fin, okay? And then after that, when I'm finished, I am going to do the same thing with these, uh, with these um, dorsal fins right here. Maybe this one too, okay? And possibly this one. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll have to judge when, uh, you know, once I finish doing that. And it's finally done. All that's left for me now to do is to paint this bad boy okay so just giving you guys a closer look at it okay so um, this is uh, that piece of styrofoam you know that thin piece of styrofoam uh, I super glued it okay waited a while while it um, you know it dried then uh, I took uh, some hot glue and I um, I covered it all in hot glue and it's nice and sturdy it's doesn't feel like it's gonna break at all okay it's really nice and stiff and I even did these two over here okay so let me give you guys a, another angle all right so there you go so now all that's left for me to do is to paint it um, yeah, this um, the super glue kind of uh, ate this up a little bit here, but that's cool. I'm 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 okay with it because I'm gonna paint it. Okay, guys, now I'm ready to start painting the big guy here. Okay, so before I do that, I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be using to paint the dorsal fins. Okay, so um, I'm going to be using a flat black. Okay, because I want to try and match uh, the black color to the figure as much as possible. Now, ideally, uh, from what my friends told me that are uh, experienced, uh, you know, action figure customizers, uh, they recommended that I repaint the entire figure, and so it could it, the colors would match. Now, when I do this. I understand that the, uh, the the color won't necessarily match the figure, but that's something I can live with. Okay, um, I, I I I don't mind that too much. Okay, so and uh, here I have uh, paint thinner. So um, what they recommended that I do is I use a little bit of more paint thinner, and then I mix it with this because uh, with the black because it's highly concentrated. So I'm going to be using that. I have a brush, okay. So of course I'm gonna I'm gonna be hand brushing, um, hand painting this uh, this figure. And after the paint dries, I'm going to be using this. I don't know what this is called uh, because this is in uh, in Chinese. But from what I understand is that this is uh, some sort of um, paint uh, protection. Okay, it's like it basically. Uh, what I, I'll, I spray this on and it'll it'll keep the paint on the figure much longer at least it'll protect the paint okay so I'm gonna start uh, painting it and then I will show you the end result when I'm done guys your tutorial on how to customize your giant Godzilla okay guys before I close I want to give a special shout out to my friend Alwyn for lending me his figure uh, for, for me doing the comparison of both figures okay guys uh, I hope you guys like this video okay please give me a thumbs up Click subscribe and share with your friends, anybody who has this figure and would like to know how to customize their figure. Okay guys, see you guys next time on the next Figure Mania show. Take care guys, bye bye.